to your point, LeBron James is playing incredible basketball right now, to the point where he may even be chipping away at Giannis's lead in the MVP race. Giannis still a heavy favorite according to Caesar Sportsbook, uh, but LeBron James continues to define any sign, sense of human aging, leading the league in assists in year 17, and the Lakers are now just three games back at the number one seed in the league. And the fact that we're even saying this is really impressive given that Giannis really is having a historic season, leading the Bucks to the best ever point differential in NBA history. and in the running for the second highest PER in league history. So, Perk, you tweeted that the MVP race is neck and neck, but what does LeBron have to do in order to overtake Giannis as the MVP for Well, to me, he just has to finish this season strong. I think if you look at LeBron James, he's having one of the best seasons of his career. LeBron, at 35. At 35. LeBron James in his career, he never averaged a double-double. And here it is, he's about to finish the season probably at 26 points and almost 11 assists, which is incredible to me. So to me, the, he's still in the conversation. He has the number one team in the West. And when he was in the East, the whole narrative was, oh, he's in a weak Eastern Conference. We need to keep that same energy for Giannis. Here's my thing about Giannis, right? He is playing out of his mind in 30 minutes a game. That's a big deal. I, like, I, I don't think people grasp how good he is in a short amount of time. And so the big question is, for MVP voters, are you voting for the guy who is playing the best on the best team, or are you voting for the guy who's playing great on a team that if he didn't play, would be terrible. The Lakers fall apart when LeBron James isn't on the floor with Anthony Davis on the floor. That's a fact. And so it all comes down to what do you define as most valuable? Is it the best player who's having the best season or is it the guy who they can't do without? The one thing, I don't know who I'm going to vote for, but I know I need consistency. A year ago, James Harden had an amazing year, but his start wasn't that great. Yeah. I voted for Giannis because I said from day one, to the last day, from Halloween to tax day, that dude bought it MVP style every night. Harden didn't do that. This year, both of these guys are doing it every night. Right. We'll see On both sides of the floor. On both sides. I, I got LeBron James. I, 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 I'm not a guy that looks at PER. That's not my thing. I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question, though. What's up? If your job depended on it, right. you're the president of a basketball team, uh -huh. and the owner told you you had to win the championship or you were going to get fired. Who will you take? See, I love this question because the, M the MVP award is not defined by the NBA. They never tell you what it mean. It's most valuable to you. The one part that's defined is the number, 2019-2020. It's this season. You're asking me a question that I would answer based on 2018, no. 2017, 2016. No, it's the body of work no, that but makes you me say no, LeBron. No, 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 but you couldn't, LeBron. Answer, you couldn't answer it. From years past, you have to answer it for right now. If I the never, guy that I need to win a championship to keep my job, right. who would I take? If I never watched either of these guys play a day in my life, and all I did was so start watching them this year, I'd take Giannis. But the fact is, I have watched these guys play, and that's why I would take LeBron to answer your question. LeBron should have more MVPs, but I think what worked against him was voter fatigue. It's really now the opposite. I think a lot of people are saying, this dude is 35 years old. Can he get another MVP? But it's hard when you see what Giannis is doing way, on his team. If he was 25 and doing this, right. he'd You're absolutely have right. the same discussion. But just like Perk said, it's voter fatigue, and now they're using what they're giving Giannis credit for against him now. I mean, it, when he was in the Eastern Conference, he should have got two more uh, MVPs, and I was with part of two of those, and I probably would have got it in the conversation. <laughs> well, either way, seeing those two, so we saw LeBron get the best of Giannis uh, on Friday night. We'll see if they match up in, in the playoffs, but that, I mean, after watching that game, uh, I'll take seven of those, that's for sure. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.